Well, joining us today here on Primetime Local News is country artist Manny Blue. Manny, I know you got a new album coming out called New Ink, so just take us through kind of the creative process and the inspiration behind this second album of yours. Well, New Ink um, was a, uh, an album that I've been wanting to, to make. Was, yeah, an album I've been wanting to make for a while. Um, I think after we had Leave It Like It Is come out and we were touring with it, um, I wanted something that was a little more representative of the kinds of, the kind of music I that I really liked and really got into music for um which was you know the sort of rock blues type thing uh sort of crossover of, of genres too and and had, you know after putting out leave it like it is and being in Nashville I realized that there's so many different colors to country music and there's so many different ways to do it um and so thinking about the project the whole time, uh, you know, kind of leading up to it. And what I wanted to do was, was really, really cool. And it was a really fun process to know we had something out and know we can tour with it and stuff like that. But in the back end of things, actually working on new stuff, uh, which, which is, which, you know, turned out to be new ink, which is really cool. Um, I just wanted a different sound. I wanted uh, something that was a little bit more how we sound live. It's something a little bit more uh, the reason I fell in love with, with, with music. Now, one track in particular on your second album here called Old Money. I know you had a lot of people working on that song. Um, you mentioned also that it was your favorite. So why exactly is it your favorite on this track? Well, I don't, I don't know if I said it was my favorite, but it's definitely, uh, I really like the sound because the demo, the demo sounded exactly what I like was the perfect example of what I wanted that the sound of the uh, record to be. And uh, Aaron, uh, Aaron Estes, who is the producer, actually was a writer on that song as well. So it's a lot, it's very easy to go to the producer who wrote the song and created the demo and be like, yeah, that sound that you got in this song is what I want for the whole EP. Um, and so I think on, on that thing, um, it was really cool. And he had Kristen Rogers, uh, who is a, who's um, Hosier's backup singer. And she crushed it on that song. Uh, I didn't even know he was going to get her. He, uh, he just sent me the song and, and had her kind of wailing some vocals on the back end of it. And they were just like, I was like, who is this? And this sounds great. This is unbelievable. So um, it was, that, that song's a, a lot of fun to constantly play. And, and it's, uh, it was a fun song to, to create and kind of, uh, make it uh turn it alive i guess or make it come to life now of course 2020 has been a very challenging year for many artists not being able to go out on tour just take us through kind of how your 2020 has gone for yourself so far and what we can expect down the road into the new year from yourself well we were hoping to uh we were hoping to to be on the road quite a bit this year um but with covid being present, um, we were able to, I was able to really take a back step and, and a deep dive into really what I want to do moving forward uh, with my music. And uh, I think piggybacking off of New Ink uh, and, and just like having the conversations about how do we evolve and how do we make the next stuff sound even better. And, and I'm really happy with New Ink. So I was just like, I'm, I'm down to, to go through the process of, of, you know, taking a deep dive and, 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 you know, maybe working on a bunch of new skills or, 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 or bettering the skills that I have. Um, and, and just, uh, you know, be, be creative and attentive and listening. And, and I think that, um, that was a really good time to kind of back backtrack a little bit and, and, and really focus and see what we want moving forward. And lastly, your new album, of course, we mentioned off the top there. When is it coming out and how can people get a hold of it if they want to? Yeah, well, so the, uh, the album New Ink is coming out November 13th. And it's going to be available on all streaming platforms. Well, Manny, I really appreciate your time. And thanks very much for joining us today. I appreciate it. Thanks for having me, man.